Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain using theorems 4, 5, 7, and 9 why the function is continuous at every number in this domain and to state the domain. So here we have b of x is equal to tangent of x over the square root of 4 minus x squared. And we're going to write this as the combination of two different functions, right? It's going to be a of x and lowercase b of x. a of x is equal to tangent of x, and b of x is equal to 4 minus x squared. With b of x is equal to a of x over tangent of x. Or sorry, um, b of x is equal to a of x over little b of x. And the reason we split these up is because we know from theorem 7 that tangent of x, which is a trig function, and the square root of 4 minus x squared, which is a root function, are continuous over their domains, right? At any number in their domains, they're continuous. Therefore, we can say that the overall function is continuous at every number in the, dom in the domain of these two functions, and therefore of the whole function as a whole, with the added caveat that since it's a um, fraction, that b of x can also not equal zero. However, that is an implicit addition to the domain by the fact that it is a fraction in the first place. So we can therefore say, because we know this fact about the individual parts, the numerator and the denominator, we can say that b of x is continuous at every number in its domain. So what is the domain? Well, again, we have that the denominator cannot equal zero. And we also have that it can't be um, less than zero, right? Because that would be taking the square root of a negative number. So we can think of this as four minus x squared is, um, it can't be equal to zero and it can't be less than zero. So it has to be uh, greater than zero. Solving for this, we get that four is greater than x squared. And taking the square root, we get that two is greater than x. We have to consider the fact that negative numbers also exist. So therefore, we have to add that it's also greater than negative two and we can't go below negative two. So b of x is continuous at every number in its domain. What is that domain? Uh, negative two is less than x is less than two.